and so we are two new kids in this area, and uh, we we uh, hooked up in social studies class, and there was this film uh, that was kind of a civics lesson. Say uh, a, a guy took a loan on a guitar, and and uh, and he couldn't pay it until he had a gig, and the pawn shop wanted to take the guitar back before the gig. Anyway. The uh, the the judge sided with the guy to let him do his gigs gig so he could pay off the guitar. And uh, at the end of the film, they had the band playing, and and uh, me and Dave were the only guys in the room that said that band really sucked. And I turned to him, I said, my band was way better than that. And he said, no, my band was way better than that. And then uh, we. We said, okay, now let's get together and jam. We had the similar story, so we uh, we got together, and I got my guitar, went over to his house, his mom's house, sat down on the edge of the bed, and uh, started playing. And we liked similar things, you know, kind of blues rock, and well, uh, on the edge of that bed, it, it took me about ten minutes to figure out that my guitar career was completely over because he was just that good. He could play Hendrix just like Hendrix. You could close your eyes and he had it all down. And for a kid, he was 16 or 17. To be here, Inc. and I are back together with Thomas and Brian and uh, all of you. Really a, really a blessing, man. I've been away for a while. I live in Texas now. And uh, haven't, been back, haven't been back to SoCal for over a year. Got here real early today and got a chance to see a lot of friends and, and look forward to hanging out tomorrow and playing again tomorrow too with my band from Texas. But right now, it's time for the Paladin, so let's get with it. There's Rock and Ron right there. How about it? Thank you so much. Let's get a big hand to Trace and the whole gang here at Ink and Iron for asking us to come out and play again. It's been so long. Thank you. 